What is going on guys? So I've actually been meaning to do this video for several weeks now. I've just been putting it off and just not really buckly down and just doing it. Today I'm going to be talking about my add-ons that I use, at least currently. Um, and these are some of the best add-ons that you can use for PvP um, that I like. And sure there's going to be some more that you may like as well, but these are the basic ones that I have so far from my journey from console to PC. They give you kind of the same feel from console with just a few more quality of life features. Um, so the main the main add-on that I like the most um, is this Grim Focus Counter. So it's this thing that has the number one on it, and it's specifically used for nine blades. So what, you, you guys know counting your stacks of Grim Focus can be very annoying. This makes it very easy, where you you already know how many stacks you have, and it really helps you line up a lot of burst potential, you know, with your end cap and your spec bow. So this is probably the one I can't live without, um, and it is called Grim Focus Counter. Um, another one I always get asked is how do I change like my my UI like the um, This stuff here is what I get asked all the time. How do I get my UI to look like this? Well, that's with bandits UI and it's rather Time-consuming to get something you like but this is just my quick. I mean, I guess just pause the video um, Where you see I have the certain things whatever. I mean this isn't perfect by any means um, but this is just what I've Kind of got grown accustomed with and comfortable with and this is just something that i use i don't use ability timers because we use something else for that um i don't use the mini map either it bugs out with controllers significantly so don't even worry about that um i basically just use it for the frames like the 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 magic health and stam pretty much is, is all i use it for so that's the bandage ui and that's pretty much what gets me you know, just my just my attributes is is basically what it is. Well, thanks for the for the sub. You're going to be in the video, so welcome in. <laughs> um, let's see here. Action duration reminder is another very important one. Um, that allows me to like. So whenever my rally runs out, or I guess I'll put on like, I don't know. You'll see it'll pop up on screen, and it definitely makes it like really easy to like know whenever your skills are running out and also has these little icons above my skills as well so like i know how much longer i have on my rally left so then it says, see how it says their rally is has ran out on, on, like in front of the screen it's nothing crazy by any means but it definitely helps a little bit um to you know kind of figure out like how long your abilities have left um and like kind of how you want them to be lined up Definitely, the, your add-ons will take a while to really get fine-tuned, but this is one that I that I do like, um, that helps me with my skills and their basically the, the, the durations of them. Um, I do use Advanced UI Minimap. That's just something I do use. So it's called Advanced UI, and you go Settings, Add-ons, and I turn off all of them. I think so. Uh, let's see here the module management so this is where you're going to have uh, affect all of them i turn off unit frames turn off combat turn off action bar and turn off buffs because it'll look very weird you'll have it, it just it doesn't look that great so I, that's why i i kind of do a mix between bandits ui and advanced ui so i like the minimap from this the quest tracker and the frame mover the quest tracker is here and it kind of also displays the time and it just looks very clean and neat and i just like it a lot uh but you know having the quest sometimes when i'm doing pve um, it just it just looks a lot cleaner than just the conventional quest tracker. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Uh, let's see here. Combat metrics is also another one that you really can't live without, especially if you're PvPing um, and you want to know like kind of what your build's performing like, how much healing you have. This is probably one of the most important ones, even for PvE. Um, this is probably just a no-brainer to have. I don't check it too often, but it's something that you know you can kind of check in the meantime to kind of see. You know, kind of what your character's doing and, and how much your damage is if you're testing out a new build. Uh, Cyrodiil HUD is also another important one. Um, I think this one, there's there's two of them. I think Cyrodiil HUD is, I guess I probably should queue up into Cyrodiil to show you Cyrodiil HUD. So you guys can get an idea of what it, what it looks like. But there's, um, there's like a little... Like there's like a little icon here and there's an icon here of kind of how many people are around. Um, so I think this is Cyrodiil HUD. This is where you can kind of like showcases what's under attack. And it kind of gives you an idea on, on where people are in the map. So you can like look there. 
and get a quick idea. So you see like Bleakers is under attack. You look there, boom, Bleakers, and it's under attack. So this is one of the main ones that I like, especially if you can like see, um, you know, where the fight and where the action is. But if you guys remember back whenever Siege was bugged, um, this one was filled all the way up to the brim. It was very funny um, to, to see Cyril HUD um, when the Siege was bugged. But uh, that's one I, I really like for PvP. I also like the dark UI. It basically just makes the UI dark. Um, it's not very noticeable, like crazy, but it just makes things look a little bit cleaner, especially for stream. Um, another one I use is Grayskull. I think this is the one that shows your weapon damage. Yeah. So this is this little little number here that just showcases my weapon and spell damage. It's very simple to set up. Um, it's not too extravagant. Uh, you basically just pick between weapon and spell damage, and that's pretty much it. Um, it's very, very simple. Um, I already talked about Groom Focus Counter. Inventory Insights. I don't use this too much um, because I don't have a lot of gear yet, but I think it's going to be very important later on. And I think probably most of you guys already have this anyways. Uh, Kill Counter. This is this little thing here, and it basically just shows like kind of your kills and deaths. Um, and you can kind of keep track of that and seeing how well you're doing in PvP. Um, Lights of Meridia. I don't. I may just pop up a, a little picture on screen uh, or whatever. But this is very useful, useful in PvP, especially if you're playing in a group of, you know, like a few people. It shows like a beam. Like, I'm not even joking, dude. Like, you'll see the beam all the way up in the freaking sky. It is probably one of the coolest things. Um, that really helps you in group play PvP, you know, if, even if you're running in a small group. I really, really like this add-on. Uh, it is very, very nice. Uh, Miat's PvP alerts. Uh, I don't actually remember what this one is. Oh, I think that's this one. I think that's this one right here. Um, this shows you, I do believe, just how many people are around. Um, so this, I guess... You know, I like these. I don't like all the crazy stuff going on here. There's probably a lot because it very it clogs up the screen. I basically just disables everything except for the really ones that I really liked. Um, it was a player counter feature. That's what I liked, and that's what this is. You can definitely customize that to your own liking and preferences. But this one gets very cl like cluttery at times. Uh, Postmaster, that's for mail, really not important. Superstar is for my builds, and if you want to share a build, um. This is probably one of the best ways to do it because it literally shows everything all in one screen. And this is just like a content creator type of thing. Um, but this definitely helps quite significantly to give people an idea. Shows the trait, shows the weapon, whatever you're running. You could just take a quick screenshot of that and show people um, what, your, what your build is. And something I really can't live without, honestly, is the weapon charger. I know it sounds like something stupid, something, well, it really is. But it basically just charges my weapons for me. And there's been several times, I know from console, whenever I PvP and, you know, my enchants run out, all my weapons. And then I'm like, okay, I'm losing out on free vulnerability right now because I don't have my enchants. Well, guess what? You run that freaking thing and you're good to go. So overall, add-ons really, in PvP at least, they don't make a huge impact. They're just mainly quality of life. I think the most important one is the spec bow one. Kind of gives you an idea of how many how many light attacks you've done, um, but this is just my basic UI that I have. Um, nothing crazy by any means. Let me look at the um, advanced UI mini map. So this is my settings for this. This got me. This took me a while to get. I think this maybe could help you guys out to kind of figure out what kind of like sliders you need um, because it gets very. It looks really weird certain times. It took me weeks and weeks to really get my add-ons to where they didn't look like a freaking mess and i feel like this looks like a pretty decent way um where you know my my sk the skills show up um and also keep in mind don't turn on any of your like some of these things like your buff timers um because with the action duration reminder already has those so i mean if you want to turn those on you can but i personally like the action duration reminder ones allows me for more customization um, and it just looks cleaner I would say um, and it's not so like those buffs on above your health bar they are massive while in the action duration reminder you can adjust the size of those and you can you can fix all those and you can change you know the colors of these things and, and the, the the times as well like you know how how big or small the numbers are 
but this is this is my UI. Um, this is what I like, and it's very simple, very sleek. It looks very very similar to like console, um, except with a few minor adjustments. I, I really love the mini map. This thing's really helpful, especially when you're kiting in PvP and you're looking for a spot where you can go to you know maybe go to resource. You want to know like hey what is what is that resource? Do we own the resource still? Um, like if you travel to like um, Owlswell, you can really quickly see that we own all three resources and we see that there's there's swords up here without even having to press the map button, which definitely is, is very nice to have whenever you play with controller because I don't really have the map button bound on my controller. It's, it's on my keyboard, so I don't have to press it all the time. But yeah, this is just a quick video to go over my add-ons. I probably would do an updated one. I guess in the future, whenever I fine tune some more and add some more add-ons, there's a few more with like proc sets that I'm looking at running. Um, what, but that's obviously when I'm going to run proc sets. But these are just the basic ones for now to kind of get you guys started, especially for the Nightblades that do watch my channel. Obviously, I am I play Nightblade, but I am going to be playing other classes. I just recently swapped to PC and it's taken me quite extensive amount of time because I also just want to PvP in general. I don't want to just level up all the time. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you guys do, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.